Welcome back to part two. Um, yep, I haven't. I've stuck with the same deck, so I'll just uh, get this started. I suppose some people might want the second uh, Tamio's uh, protection. Right. Yep, decent opening hand, I think. Oh, now that's interesting. Um, we could go double exemplar. Then we're attacking with a 4-3 creature on uh, turn th three. I mean, Tanuki's good and everything. But we want to go for a, a bit of early game, I think. Okay, that's all three exemplars. That's cool. So that we could be well, I feel like something's going to happen to this one, but uh, potentially you could a attack with a 5-4 creature on uh, on turn 4. And we'll not block. We've got a plan. Would be nice if it gave vigilance or something as well. But what are you gonna do? I feel like we're still, uh, yeah, we're losing the race. like a fourth land. We've got this to make extra mana if we want. Oh very oh nice, Eater of Virtue. So that's suddenly 4-2 lifelink. That's getting pretty serious. I'm only swinging back for uh, 5 damage. Um, I will block it and you know we'll see. We'll uh, get him to show us the combat trick. Eater of Virtue now bestows lifelink, which is pretty scary. But it also brings things into repel the vial range, and <laughs> I've got two repel the vials loaded up, so that that's pretty nice. Uh, we'll go for the blue mana. And another exemplar. And he's back down to 20 again, so... Now, if I was him, I would equip Peter of Virtue. Oh, Virus Beetle, nasty. Okay. I think we don't need careful cultivation anymore. Ok, 
Okay. The exemplar attacks for four, doesn't it? Another option, we could just play Harmonious em Emergence. Swing in with a 4-5. But he could double block, I suppose. Seems seems pretty good to exile this. Ah, it does not give lifelink, because it's not got just lifelink written on the card. If it's got a conditional thing on there, it doesn't work. I've, um, this is something I have discovered. Right, he's going to swing for three. Uh, I could trade off. I, st I still swing back for three myself. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This thing attacks with Vigilance and Haste. I will let it through. No, actually, no. That's that's going to be the plan, isn't it? This has to attack alone. It doesn't get the bonus if it attacks alone. So I think the Exemplars have done their job. Grave Lighter draws a card. Right. This could uh, we could prevent 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 the roths. <laughs> uh, it would be a four three swinging in. Uh, we're gonna cast this on that forest. It's gonna <laughs> if it, it really needs to help you more. Right, we'll tap our lands first, so there's no there's no mistake. I think it does help you though. I will just swing with both because that's you know a two toughness creature. And we could have held Mana up to repel the vial. But uh, I'm going for the aggressive option. He didn't equip. Interesting. I see. Coochie's silencer. And gets to discard a creature and kill my guy. Fair enough. He's discarded the Grave Lighter though, that's that's good news. That gets that, fair enough. So the we can we can now even um, blow up the artifact if we need to. Now we could pump in more damage with this. Or we could just repel the vial on that guy. guess we're on 14 life. This lets us kind of wait and see for a bit, and we get a 2-4 flyer in a couple of turns, which could be pretty helpful. I was getting lethal exploited. Okay, nice. Nice, he got me there. Uh, 
Oh, well, that's that's a bit that's a winner. <laughs> Okay, actually, we can. I think we have to play both Sage as a land, so we've got six mana up. Because, yeah, we want to play Ear of Enlightenment and have Repel the Vile mana up. Uh, that's a blocker, so. Yep. I can get two blockers out next turn. Yeah, I I just don't think about instant re speed removal a lot of the time. You've got to think of this as a uh, an aura. Very risky to cast when you've only got one. All oh, right, yeah, the second Imperial Life. <laughs> nice. People love this card, I guess. Yeah, because it's Cries Three, and it always finds the um, finds the other one. Don't think I've really played with it that much myself. I get two blockers, but yeah, I'm facing down an army. So if I hadn't mess, haven't made that decision. I'd have one less creature. I wouldn't have the moth right now. Wow, main deck full of Lord Conda. That always seemed risky. Has that got flying? Guess we'll trade off there and take a lot of damage and die. Interesting. Another game where just Imper I've run into Imperial Oath multiple t <laughs> copies of it, uh, it late game, and it's just been the difference for my opponent. For me, it seems like a a top end card that's risky to play, but Scry Scry Three makes it very uh, yeah, that's uh, it makes it very interesting. I prefer that the the, uh, the five mana samurai you can channel to find a plane. So that seems a much safer uh, top end threat to have. No white mana. Darn. Uh, yeah, we have to mulligan that. I probably need to... Yeah, I, I, I don't, the only thing I thought about was how much... Um, how much blue mana I have in the deck. I didn't look at my white and green. Uh, so I might have to go back and look at that. All right, let's keep six. We'll put Season of Renewal on the bottom. And this, so this we can play as a, uh, a mana dork.
Exemplar into exemplar is quite tempting. Well, that is nice. We top deck a land. He gets to have uh, Sh Shigeki. Um, so, here's the thing. I could make my mana dork now, because obviously I can't, don't really want to attack into that. So I may as well make mana dork. If he attacks, I might block. Okay, that's a growing threat. That's pretty scary. But I can, can I, yeah, I can double spell next turn. I can play both exemplars. That would, that would seem to be a good play. And then I've got befriending the moths to follow up. So I can get an exemplar through for a couple of turns. Which seems pretty good. Okay, build the Samurai, 2-3 Menace. Yep, pretty good. So that gets two, three, four. Oops. Yeah, I was just I was just thinking about that. I don't have a a one green enchantment unfortunately so how about we do Yamazaki and we cast a commune with spirits feel like that's Pretty good. Yeah, we've actually missed a land drop more than anything. Uh let's yeah, let's get an uncharted haven. Go for a blue. That's a good one. Got a pretty impressive uh, bunch of creatures here. Uh, we won't, yeah, we won't double block. So that also gives vigilance, which is pretty nice. <laughs> These attackers are four three. Uh, right, so I think 
Yeah, I've got, oh, I've, got, I've got six mana available, so I can, first of all, just repel the vial on his big threat right now. Or, yeah. We'll worry about that later. We'll, we'll try and get a good um, attack through. Now let's, let's mute you. Right. Now let's play. Let's attack with his... So this should be a 4-3, right? Cool. That's dead. He dies. I play a planes and Hmm, interesting. Why didn't that work? Did I run out of time? <laughs> Maybe I did. Um I'll figure out how this works. Because that definitely was very disappointing. Um, and yeah, I can't attack into his 4-4. His four, four. Right, okay, let's have a look at uh, careful cultivation. We can get plus one, plus three on something. It means throwing away the exemplar. Okay, it seems seems like fun. Right. Right, Moth is coming in. Uh, yeah. Okay, right. Damn it, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to attack with a Moth. Uh, and yeah, we'll play. We'll play that because it because it's a tap land. I kind of want to play it in case I get my I drop top deck my turtle or something. Yeah, just attack with everything. Makes sense to me. Um. We'll let nine damage through. We'll try and pick up a simian sling. We could take out Sashiro. Leaves us with some problems. That's got vigilance and haste as well. Uh, Right, so no, I think yeah, I think we're just in trouble. So I think nine damage. Okay, can't decide what to do. We'll do that. Six damage through. Oh, okay, he's got. The ambitious assault. We are, oh, we survived somehow. Okay. Another exemplar. So yeah, something went horribly wrong with our uh, Narika. I thought we were going to be able to cast a Genjo exem exemplar. Right. I think because he's an enchantment creature, he is not an enchantment. That. 
is an enchantment. That's the only thing I could cast from a graveyard. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. We'll do no attacks and we'll just have to do a double chomp block <laughs> and hope for a miracle. I don't think there's anything in my deck which um, saves me. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe the moth survives. It's interesting. I thought my deck was pretty good, but I am in uh, gold three, so... You're up, you tend to be up against uh, tough opposition. Yeah, we haven't had the generous visitor star. I think that's um, the most had the best early game card in the deck. Might be a much shorter run than uh, I was expecting, uh, but it happens. Here we go. Generous Visitor is there. You will get to try it out. We could do a turn two Bamboo Grove Archer. I don't, I don't think it can be a bad choice. Okay, Moth Rider Patrol. So we could play Basaju and play an Eureka. Or we could play Haven, do nothing, and then play Moth Sontan for. Could hold. It might make sense to hold Narika back until I can uh, threaten to bring an enchantment back. to gold three we got a win <laughs> yeah sure enough if you yeah turn one generous visitor people aren't, aren't keen on playing against that you may have missed uh, a land as well I'm not the kind of person who, who would mulligan until I get the uh, the turn one visitor, though. It might be a strategy. Uh, definitely, this has given me second thoughts about a Gensho ex Exemplar. I thought um, thought it would be a good choice, but yeah, I've just been uh, it's been outclassed a little bit. Oh yeah, big creatures and uh, oh the um, of course the, the three two two samurai, but it's just yeah, if your opponents don't miss a land drop in their first five or six, and they've got a deck with big with big creatures that'll happen. Now this is another good one. This is uh, in fact generous visitor into into exemplar, so it's even better. But he's going first. And he's got a fast start. Oof. Yeah, I had that uh, that card yesterday. 
Let's see if he follows up with a, an automaton. That could be nasty. When you're, you're doing this in the early game, it feels like uh, four damage isn't going to make much difference. But um, when you're on the receiving end, it feels terrible. Um, I think we've got to play Bamboo Grave Archer first as a defender. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think we go for the Tapland, an exemplar next turn. Root suit without a creature. Well, he's got he does have a creature, indeed. Uh yeah, I will do what I said I was gonna do. And we'll do that for blue. Yeah. Start pumping up the exemplar. And remember, this is an enchantment creature and not an enchantment. So I can't get him back, get it back with Yamazaki, which makes her weaker than I thought. Got something. Oh, nice. He had a combat trick. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. Um, so that is. That's got four. Uh, four toughness. So, could put a token on the visitor. And try and trade off with it and attack with the exemplar play, play uh, befriending the moths uh, that is an enchantment but it feels like it's uh, you know it's giving up my best tool I think befriending the moths. We'll start putting tokens on the exemplar. Yeah, start putting tokens on the exemplar. Uh, give the exemplar flying, and we'll just swing in with both. Seven. I should be winning the race. And he might be worried I've got... Oh, he's going to steal something nice doesn't have a sacrifice effect though. So he's going to put out a lot more damage this turn. Okay. Swing for three, swing for five, eight damage. And then 
This will give him an extra point of damage next turn as well. Probably two extra damage because he's got the haster. Uh, if we're going to attack with anything... Okay, um, there's a very large chance that we die next turn. I just swing with one, five, and play Nariki Yamazaki, and we'll just try and survive. We have just hit quite a lot of land. He might be in the same situation. He does have this extra guy. He's discarding it. Interesting choice. Quite short mechanic, okay. Can use that to, and then swing with this mechanic. Is he going to defend? He gets a 3 3 haster from this next turn. Uh, now, he's got a card in hand. If I attack with everything, something gets through unless he blows it up. Oh, I forgot that's an enchantment and I could have pumped something. Still, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just go for the win. That might be a colossal blunder I've made now that costs me the game, but we'll see. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Three damage through? Yeah. Okay. I had a chance to draft a, a um, Tales of Master Sashiro early in the draft, but uh, I think I went for something early game instead. And this is tragic, so um, yeah, no green mana. We do have a turn two drop. Uh, we can find a planes card, so we can get to three mana. Uh, so we can, we've got a turn three land drop. Um, I think this says Mulligan, though. I think we can do better. And this time it's no white mana. Ah, great. Well, I've got Greater Tanuki. Right, okay. And I've got Sunblade Samurai to find a planes. Okay, that's good. Um, keep six. Obviously, we keep a visitor. Uh, that finds me a planes already. Arguably, I can just put the Greater Tanuki back in the deck and keep the removal spell. I think that might might be the sensible way to do it. Okay, we've got a turn two play. We can make her a monk.
do we want to d make a monk? That's the question. Because we can get an enchantment and make this a huge creature. I think against black, no. Because he will just nuke my visitor. Okay, we've actually uh, top decked a plane, so that's good. So we there's no need to discard this guy anymore. And we will say no attacks and turn. Right. Okay, something's tapped. Right. Decision time. Uh, trade off for generous visitor. Feels pretty painful, but um, I'm getting a 4 4 creature next turn. We don't want him to draw and discard. We f I fear that repel the vial. Okay, that was an enchantment creature. I could have repelled the vial. Uh, my turn. But we'll do that to something else. Oh, we'll, draw an we'll draw another one. Right, Samurai. So this is a perfect thing for him to ninjutsu things in with. And yes, the the old favourite, the uh, three two life link. Yeah, sure. He's an artifact creature. Three power. <laughs> Typical. All right, Sunblade Samurai. Number two. It's a good top deck, I think. Oh, he's got a counter spell. No. Nope. High speed hover bike taps that one down. I see, right. Very nice. Yeah. I remember this whole thing with the hover bike. And he can tap, sorry, tap the other one with the disruptor, yeah. And then sometimes they get the hover bike killed and they get it back with Grease Fang. Ah, oh, Twisted Embrace, even better. Okay, great. Well, at least I can blow that thing up now. That's a nice big life swing for him. He's going to play it and tap something that's already tapped. Okay. To crew the hover bike, obviously, and do more damage. That makes sense. Right. Good stuff. Swing with both. Uh, repel the vial. Want that thing. Keep a land to discard to something. Terrarium, so I can make that a 2-2. Two -two. If he wants. Surprising amount of damage that, that you can get through with this deck. Put a token on it, swing for three. It makes it, it makes more sense than put it on the, putting it on the disruptor. And guess what? He's just going to kill me with that. He's had a massive life swing. Doesn't need to worry about racing.
One thing this deck is short of is um, life gain. It's just got the sort of life gain from one-off things like the uh, channel on the samurai. Oh my god. <laughs> it's probably an entirely normal land draw. Yeah, it's it's seven in uh, thirteen. It's okay, it's a, it's gone above fifty percent. It's not great. It's not what you need. <laughs> I did top deck two Sunblade Samurais, which was at the perfect time. So I can't complain, I suppose. Uh, sure. Um, funny if that was an enchantment and I completely missed the fact I could kill it. But it's not. It is an artifact creature. Yeah, I, f I forgot about this card, so... Um, yeah. I should have been holding two lands in hand, I guess, to against that card. I was thinking about the virus beetle. So that's the trouble with having too many repel the vials. If you can pair it up with, um, oh my, yeah, well. Eight land and fourteen now. Yeah, the enchantment deck doesn't have much card draw. Or, or any card draw, I think. I think that's two and three for the stack. Which, uh, yeah, a bit disappointing to be honest. I expected more. I committed early to uh, enchantments. Uh, I think, yeah, the first rare was Beseju. Isn't doesn't necessarily mean you go enchantments, but um, then I got a Michiko's Reign of Truth, which I uh, was conspicuous by its absence. But um, I can't complain. I got a couple of generous visitor starts, which help help me get my my two wins. Uh, and we learnt something. We had we learnt a valuable lesson. We to, to read our magic cards. This. Riki Yamazaki specifies target enchantment card. That does not include enchantment creatures, apparently. Uh, it's only enchantments, so careful cultivation is enchantment aura. It's got enchantment dash aura, so it is an enchantment card. Um, on the exemplar, it's enchantment creature dash human samurai, so it's an enchantment creature card. The uh, the bit before the dash is the card type. So you've got to match that, like that card type exactly. So there you go. Uh, yeah, I think. Can't remember. Did we get the? No, I don't think we got the turtle at any point. So yeah, the. What's the problem with the deck? Um, maybe no card draw. I've got commune with spirits to like uh, select a card. That's that's quite useful. Yeah, we're relying on um, recursion effects, season of renewal, causes causes sky turtle to give us um, 
our late game value, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that, uh, that's the video, I think. Uh, actually, let's uh, climb our price. Oh, well, we've got two boosters. That's nice. Bit of a bit of luck at the end there. So we're up to fourteen. And it was a good uh, draft for my collection. I got four rares, including three rares that I didn't have any copies of before. Anyway, I think, uh, yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching.